The Ford F-150. It's been the best-selling vehicle in America since 1978. Not best-selling truck, not best-selling four-wheel drive, best-selling vehicle. Last year, more than twice as many of these were sold than Toyota Camrys in the United States. Just gives you an idea on how serious the Americans are about their pickup trucks. This is a 2016 model. It's an all aluminium body. It's powered by a five litre Coyote V8, puts out 385 horsepower. For all that truck, you've only got a payload of 750 kilos, but it will tow four tonne in Australia, provided you've got the right brakes. Now, is this the ultimate tow rig? Ford have got another product out that maybe will better this one. Let's go have a look. And this is the 2016 F-150 EcoBoost. For over 60 years, Americans have been depending on V8 power for their premium pickups. These days, it's down to the V6 twin-turbo all-alloy engine. The body's all aluminium, clearly to save weight and to increase fuel economy. The V6 is touted to be the most economical engine, and it's a premium engine. It'll cost you more than the five-litre V8. But in Australia, Towing is what these things are all about. However, we want to see how it goes off the road. They're not built for a bush track, they're too wide. But out here on the beach, I'm sure it'll be able to hold its own, so we're going to take it for a bit of a spin and see how this V6 engine really performs. The V6 is actually a flagship engine. It's a premium price on top of the 5 litre V8. Now it uses two low inertia turbochargers to get 365 horsepower as opposed to the V8's 385 horsepower. But the V6 actually makes more torque, 570 newton meters as opposed to the V8's 525 newton meters. The key to this engine though is the torque curve. It may make less power, but 570 newton meters of torque is on tap for 2,500 RPM as opposed to the V8, which is up over 3,800 RPM, which means you sink your boot into it, you've got some pulling power straight off the mark. When they first introduced this engine, nobody bought it. The main reason is, outside it sounds like a taxi. So what Ford engineers did was pipe some funky engine note in through the stereo system so it makes you think you're driving a V8. It kind of works, to be honest. Nobody's really going to buy this as an off-road vehicle. It's too wide for most bush tracks. Out here on the beach though, it's doing just fine. What it's really built for is towing. And it'll tow, by Australian standards, four tonne off the hook. Payload though, is less than the average Toyota Hilux. They're not really built to carry much. There is virtually no turbo lag with this engine. Sink the boot, the torque is pretty much there waiting. It's actually quicker to 100k an hour than the V8. 5.8 seconds according to the factory. And it sort of unfolds. It's got a really nice wide meaty power band. And it makes it great for towing. It's awesome on the road. And um, out here in the sand, it's just um, absolutely having a ball. It's eating up this soft stuff. There's no doubt about it. The V6 EcoBoost engine is a perler in this F-150. It's a lovely bit of gear and it's got heaps of torque nice and low in the ref band. Off-road, it's a cinch to manage, and the is actually quite light with the alley body. You're not gonna go blasting down bush tracks in it, but it's certainly a great thing for getting your toys out into the bush on the weekend or for a blast along the beach.